back on the Rob Dibble Show with Ben Darnell live from Nautical Bowls in West Hartford at Bishop's Corner. I just Fox finished Sports my Radio. sale. There you go. My Chris Sale Bowl, delicious. Really is a super meal. Yeah, I really It's not like bowl. something like you're just whipping through it and stuff like that. It's going to fill you up. You're going to have uh, use all of those uh, vitamins and minerals for hours to come, and it's really good for the body. We got a big, big... Big basketball game tomorrow night. Team USA against Team Canada. Winner gets syrup for the rest of the year. I think we should get Labatt's blue. Is that we, what you would want win. in the win? What we can get, when we give them? Budweiser's? They get Buds. We get Labatt's. I'd rather drink I Labatt's know, anyway. I know, me too. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so Team Canada is no joke. One thing that they do not have is a seven-foot they don't, have, they, they, don't Zach Eady. they don't have Zach Eady, where they've had him in FIBA play before, uh, but they have not uh, put him on the roster. I think he's trying to concentrate on his actual NBA career. Go figure. What a dope. <laughs> What's wrong with that kid? <laughs> he did great last night, man. Let me give you Canada's uh, roster, though, because there are some people that you know. First and foremost, Dylan Brooks. Oh, Dylan Brooks, the LeBron antagonist himself. I cannot wait for that matchup right off the bat. Uh, also, I don't think Kyle Alexander is going to be on this or R.J. Barrett. I think they're both going to be uh, focusing on their games. But you got Shea Gilgris Alexander. You got Lou Dort. Um, you got Kelly Olenek is on this team. The he's scrum. still alive? Yes, he's still I'm alive. Not, I'm is he in the NBA still? I he's still in the NBA. He's listed at seven foot. I did not think that. Uh, but, yes, so this is this is going to be a legit contest here for Team USA. And I would say as well, I don't know for sure. I just always find out after the fact when Team USA loses in anything. This is how we found out the U18 football went down when Japan beat the United States. But most of these teams have better team chemistry and have been together longer than any of the Team USA teams. And it kind of scares me from Cooper Flag tearing them up in the small snippet we saw the other day with the roster they're going to be taking on in Team Canada. I'm not going to be surprised they lose this ball Are game. these Scrubs brothers? Yes, the Scrub brothers. Phil Scrub, Thomas Scrub. Tommy Scrubs and Phil Scrubs. Um, did you put Jamal Murray in there? Ooh, I did not. How about uh, Shai Gilgis yes, Alexander? I did. I did uh, account Dylan for him. Brooks. I did account for RJ him. Barrett. Uh, Trey Bell Haynes. They Lou Jan Stewart, you, I know you said him. Yeah, Lou Dort, baby. Um, yeah, they got a pretty good team. They got a good team. No way we should lose to these guys. We shouldn't, but no. here's the big difference. Are we going to really give our best effort? Correct. There's Some a, of our guys are uh, I mean, load management, yeah. street clothes guys. Notorious. This is what they're known for. We got Anthony Davis. You really going to believe? Oh, by Anthony the way, Andrew Dave Wiggins withdrew. Yeah, he didn't want to be on the team. And then Zach Eady withdrew. I know. Oh, they didn't want to be on the team. Right. Maybe they smell the loser. They could have helped. But <laughs> they definitely, Zach Eady uh, and Wiggins would have helped. It's going to be nuts for me to see Kawhi Leonard give, like, a full-on effort. Yeah. The dude doesn't give a full-on effort for the team that pays him. You think he's going to give a full-on effort for the Team USA team? <sighs> Man, right. I just think that's the way. Some guys get a bad rap. I think he's just such a chill player he's that we don't realize guy. that that he's a fun guy. <laughs> we don't realize that that's his max effort. That's his max speed. But the other thing is, most of that roster, Team USA, I would hate to calculate the millions that contract that they're on or even just the annual salary, but I would have to think. The oh, there's billions of dollars on Team USA. And Team Canada and these other teams, they may have one or two paid guys, but that Team USA, man, that, that they are printing money over there. Who buys dinner over there? I'm going to tell you what right now. Steph Curry, Anthony Davis are making $100 million between them. Yeah. Um, LeBron. <laughs> Durant, Embiid, there's two. There's another $100 million. There you go. Um, I know Drew Holiday's making forty right? because he was the highest paid Celtic before this uh Latest Tatum deal. There you go. So Holiday and James, there's another hundred million. Tatum's making what about fifty? Kawhi's making about fifty. So yeah, there's 
We got we have about four hundred million on our team. Speaking of dumb money in basketball, breaking news before the show: Cade Cunningham scores a two hundred and twenty-four million dollar deal with the Pistons. Rookie extension. Has how he, many games did they win last year? Fifteen. But I mean, they played eighty-two in two years in the NBA. Has he warranted that kind of love? No, no <laughs> one on the Pistons had. If you paid Dennis Rodman money for past performance, I get it. Cade Cunningham? What? You got Franz Wagner making $200 million from Orlando, another team that's not sniffing the NBA Finals anytime soon, against the Detroit Pistons paying two twenty four to Cade Cunningham? They didn't even sniff a two-game winning streak. He did score 23 a game with eight, eight assists a game. Somebody's got to score some points to make up the 50 a game the team does. He missed 20 games last year. He missed 20 games he played, last year? He played 62. 62. He played 75% of their games. I agree with John Ashmead. He, that's an average That's NBA par for the player. course now? Gosh, yeah. that is sickening I mean, where Jay we are Jaden right Ivey, God, sickening. if you're going to pay him 60, that, that kind of money, Jaden Ivey played 77 games. Mm-hmm. That's that's because Jaden wants the big contract. Some other things from the Olympic uh, Team USA. There's a video that was out two days ago that I just loved. It was, can you spin a ball on your finger trick? They asked every player in on Team USA. They started with Kevin Durant, and they asked him, how many people on the team do you think can do it? Kevin Durant can do it, no problem. He said, everybody should be able to do it. You're one of the best basketball players in the league. Steph Curry, Joel Embiid, LeBron James cannot do it. They admit we could not do it. Uh, Steph says it is an embarrassing thing in his basketball game he doesn't like to talk about. He tried once, got mad, slammed the ball, and left. Uh, Drew Holiday is a legit globetrotter. Like, Drew Holiday can spin it on both hands, do a a knee kick up, keep it going. It's amazing. Anthony Davis and Bam Adebayo, I feel like the surface area on their monster fingers is so easy for them to spin. But then you would think Joel Embiid would have the same – issue or benefit with that monster index finger some guys just never practiced it i mean i honestly i, I watch a lot of nfl quarterbacks some guys can spin a uh, football ball that's tough i mean that's i know tough. but i mean if you if you spend enough time on it um i used to do some tricks with a baseball i could roll it up my arm and oh stuff yeah like you that, do the old uh, sister jane bounce it off the no i trick. could spin it up Oh, yeah. you did the roll almost like a that's basketball. A, yeah, that's a globe trick. That, again, I could juggle. I can do some other stuff. When you're sitting in the bullpen, as long as that's I sat right. in the bullpen doing nothing, exactly, you get good at stuff like that. So I kind of <laughs> look at some of the best players in the NBA can't do that. I kind of appreciate that. So that, true. That they're spending more time on shooting and dribbling and the finer things than spinning a basketball. Yeah, we used to practice our knuckleball throws with footballs, uh, as and it was a receiver game because, like, you know, you make the ball move and yeah, you try to catch it. Helped, it helps you catch I, it. I really feel like our team led the nation in knuckleball throws. Like, if that was <laughs> some kind of game, we would have won a national championship for it. Have you ever heard of the name Josh Hawkinson I before? Not, I have not. So I was just checking out some rosters, and we get into this for the World Baseball Classic a lot, and this is now happening in the Olympics a lot more than I like to admit, but it is. Uh, Josh Hawkins, when you look at Team Japan, and you just look at their faces, one of them really sticks out. And you're like, man, this dude does not look Japanese whatsoever. And you go through it, you you see Rio Hachimura, you know him from the Lakers. You see yep. some other players you know from the NBA, and you can see the the Japanese descent that exists in their system. Josh Hawkinson, you're looking at him and like, how in the hell is this guy Japanese? Turns out he is a Washington basketball player that didn't really make it to the NBA and spent a lot of time in the Japan Basketball Pro Leagues. Got his citizenship last year, 2023, right. and now finds himself representing that country in the Paris Olympics. You all right with that? Is that cool? 100%. 100%. 100%. He's you, not you, Japanese. But he became a citizen. He's naturalized now. Um, it's not like, hey, my, my mother's Japanese and my dad's American or whatever, and that's why I'm Japanese-American. And a lot of these guys have dual citizenships because of that. Um, this guy went over there, he lives over there, and um, he did everything legally he needs to do. Guy couldn't play in the NBA over here. How no good way. is he going to be? He's 6'10". He's 6'10". So he wants to play for Team Japan. 
Good for Let him, him play for Team Japan. Good oh, for him. He's the Willie Mays of Japan. Number Listen, it's like Arrestus Destrada, man. Arrestus not only, you know, I think is he a naturalized Japanese citizen. He's from Cuba. He's a Cuban-American. He speaks three languages. Um, you even brought this up before. Ellie De La Cruz is going to learn Japanese. Yeah, so he can trash talk Shohei. Yeah, exactly. So, and Shohei will be able to understand him. <laughs> so uh, we talk- he speaks English now and Spanish, and now he wants to speak Japanese. Nick Federico, we brought this story up before the show, and Federico brought up Lars Newtbar to me. And I'm like, oh, yeah, that guy. Love how he's got like 25 different uh, nationalities and yep. can play for every country and every sport. Good <laughs> for him, man. Good for Lars Newtbar. I don't like it as much when it's like Team Israel or Team Italy or whatever, and you've never lived there or you've never really, you know, you, you have, have an eye system. on the last part well, of no, your name. Maybe a parent. Last name maybe ends a in parent, I. You become naturalized be through your parents, but you never really spent a lot of time there. You don't even maybe speak the language. I can't That's see Josh Hawkinson difference. speaking Japanese. That's like A Rod. So A-Rod, yes. because Team USA didn't want him in the WBC, they kicked him to the Dominican. Dominican really didn't want him, <laughs> but they took him. So think about that, that you don't want a guy and you, like, have him on your team, and you're like, he's not really Dominican. Yes, he is with Dominican parents, but he's not a guy that grew up in the Dominican Republic. I hope they really accept him on this Team Japan, this Josh Hawkinson. I, I hope he is the star of Paris. I am rooting for Josh Hawkinson to dominate in Now you like best. him. I love him. I, I, I think it's a cheeky move to get into the Olympics. But was like, it going to make this team? But now you're, you're bringing me into a place where, like, I feel for this guy because he probably has no friends over there. It's, and like, uh, I wouldn't say that. Like it, look, uh, Stefan Mar- Marbury in China oh, is huge, an absolute huge. superstar. They call him the dragon. I'm reading the story on this guy, Hawkinson, right now. He's a rock star in Japan. Is he really? That makes First me First of all, all right, so happy. let me say this. When I went there, and this is a long time ago, uh, during my big league career, Randy Johnson, 6'10", walking around in Japan where there's not a lot of 6'10 humans. Right. He's a rock star. Um, the guys with blonde hair. They wanted to touch your blonde hair and stuff. I mean, they'd ask permission and things like that. So it's like when you're when you go to a culture and they're and, and you're kind of like your appearance doesn't shock them, but it's not an everyday occurrence. And then you have a talent like that was their big thing. I did a bunch of interviews just because I threw a baseball hard, and they were like fascinated by that. And Randy Johnson because he was in Japan and threw hard in Japan. Japanese. So now you know the Japanese people. So they always want to know how how can we find out. What do you do, and how did it make you get to that point? And then how can we then take that and let our culture use it and make our kids better? I appreciate that. But imagine if they win. Imagine if Team Japan wins the gold medal, and you are born and raised in the United States. And but you that country believed in you. Believed in you, but yep. how does that make you feel as you beat your country? I, I couldn't do it. I just couldn't go against the United States of America being like, let's see, what do I got? What do I got? I got some Irish. I got a lot of Irish. I couldn't play right. for Team Ireland. And do know, they like, have a team? You know, if I find six or seven Josh Hawkinsons, I think we could make this happen. But <laughs> There's a bunch of 6'10 Irish guys out there. Who I'm knew part there was Irish a Team too. Japan? Who knew there was a Team Japan? I mean, listen, I'm part Swedish, but it doesn't mean right. I should like, go home and play for Sweden. Well, let's say – we're doing baseball in the Olympics again, right. Gibbs, and you're not on the team. They don't want your services, but the Swiss do. And Sweden will Oof. make you the closer. Two different countries, and Sweden then, and Switzerland. Okay. The, the, the Swedes <laughs> want me on their correct. team. Thanks for pointing no that problem. out. Right. All right, no I got problem. I'm on your page now. Thank you. So the Swedes so want the Swedes you. Go Swedes. Sweet, the Swiss sweet. wants you too, right. but they can't have you because you're not That's Swiss. Right. Swiss. I'm not Swiss. <laughs> you're not Swiss or Lindish. Uh, <laughs> Could you pitch against the United States? A hundred percent. Really? A hundred percent. I couldn't do and it, And if man. my brother was on Team USA, wow. it would be even You'd better. You'd hit him. I'd drill him. <laughs> so, a- absolutely. Because that's competitive. I mean, listen, I, I, listen, I respect. There's, there's people that are like came over here from other countries and fought for the United States in World War II, uh, fought for us in Korea, Vietnam, and they were from other countries and – they assimilate into the, our society and become naturalized, and they're American. So I, I have no problem with the Olympics because there's so many people in the Olympics that, all right, growing up, 
was different too in the 80s, 90s. East Germany, Russia, so many of these countries were cheating, roiding up, all that kind of stuff. So Some it was still like, are. Yeah, and it's like, you know what? I don't care where we get people from to, to try to beat their right. butts back. Right. If we're doing it on the up and up, I'm all for it. Well, you made me a Josh Hawkinson fan. There today. you go. You totally I'm glad I sold me. you on this kid. Yeah. He's probably going to score one point a game. I hope he dominates. Depends what on would, who they're playing. All right, what would dominate to you? Ten points. <laughs> <laughs> Ten points per? Yeah. All right, now I'm Ten going to points. follow. But see, here's the thing. Five like, we're talking about Team Japan. I would not have followed Team Japan unless you brought this dude up. So, totally so the one thing is yes. we now have a focal yes. point for, to watch these games. Don't thank me. Thank Josh Hawkinson. Thank for you, Josh. Dedication to Japanese culture. All right, when we come back, we'll do dibbles and 